Hi everyone and welcome to a new video review. This time I will be reviewing the FJ Dynamics Pocket Refractometer, which they were so kind to send over to test and review. Uh, so, as you guys might know, um, I always uh, value the uh, the knowledge that you have of your pre the parameters of your reef. So, um, I try to uh, to test regularly uh, to make sure that all the uh, uh, the water parameters are in check and uh, to keep to uh, yeah, well, to keep to f the the tank in uh, in optimal health. So, when I started off uh, reefing, I always used the uh, the manual tests uh, which uh, came from a variety of brands um, uh, and they were uh, practical to use, cheap um, and you had to read them by uh, checking out the colors, uh, the discoloration of a certain fluid after adding a few drops of aquarium water. Um, but luckily in the recent years there have been more digital equipment available um, so uh, yeah, this is uh, FJ Dynamics uh, Pocket Refractometer is uh, an example of that, um, which we'll uh, which we'll dive into. Um, so to get uh, to the device, uh, I've set it up uh, right here. So as you can see, uh, well, this is my uh, uh, my my working space when I'm working on aquarium stuff. So as you can see right here in the back, I'm using a lot of digital equipment already. Uh, I've used the uh, the HANA uh, checkers for uh, uh, for uh, alkalinity and calcium and phosphates for a while, and I recently got a new one for nitrates. So those are very easily easy to uh, to read and to have a digital uh, um, uh, output, which is easy to uh, to determine. Uh, but in case of uh, water salinity, I've always been uh, well kind of stuck with the old fashioned. Uh, decent uh, pocket refractor or actually portable refractometer which it says on the uh, on the case um, this one is from DD I think but there's diff different brands available and they all look kind of the same uh, there's in a viewing uh, glass and you have to put some sample water in here and uh, watch through the viewing glass to see which uh, what the uh, the salinity is uh, but if you've used one before you might know that it's quite uh, hard to adjust you have to use a, a screwdriver uh, to uh, zero it out and to uh, make sure that it's uh, it's reading the correct values um, so I'm actually uh, really delighted that uh, that FJ Dynamics has sent over their pocket refractometer which is a very very small device really a pocket device as you can see right here next to a OnePlus 7 Pro uh, so it's actually a very small uh, easy to use device to uh, to measure your water uh, uh, salinity so when you get the box it's it's uh, packaged in a nice white box and inside you will find the refractometer itself um, together with a charging cable which is USB-C which I think is very uh, uh, useful since most modern devices use uh, USB-C to, uh, to charge there's a strap and there's two Droppers or pipettes uh, in the packaging as well that you will use to uh, well, to do the water measurements. So to do the water measurements standard, it me it measures the the bricks value, which is not what we need. Uh, so you have to install uh, an app, and I'll uh, quickly uh, log in to my phone. So there's the uh, DI Fluid app uh, that you can uh, use to uh, to. Uh, to use the device so as you can see it's set to bricks so when you change it to salinity or salty then it will uh, uh, will switch and um, you can also use this app to uh, zero it out uh, so you just add some sample water uh, RODI water to the uh, uh, to the, 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 the small pinch hole here and then uh, you can zero it out and then after that do your measurements. I've already zeroed it out uh, before making this video so I don't have to do that uh, again. So we take the uh, pipette, the dropper and uh, get a couple of drops of salt water then add it to the hole. I like to add four or five drops to make sure that it's completely covered. Then after that you can measure it one time but I'd rather set it to five to make sure that it does five measurements and then take an average of that so you know 
there are, will be no outliers. So then you will do the, uh, the measurement and as you can see it's measuring right now as indicated by the green light and it will do five separate measurements to make sure that it takes an accurate value and that there is no, uh, no weird outliers there. So then it will uh, transform the bricks value to uh, uh, the salt value and it's as you can see 3.68% which is about 36 to 37 PPT parts per thousand uh, which is actually a pretty great value uh, it's a bit on the high side natural seawater is about 3.5 percent so as you can see my tank water is slightly more salty than natural seawater uh, but nothing out of the ordinary it also measures the temperature which is 21.3 which is of course caused by it being out of the tank and slightly cooling down normally would be around 24 degrees in my tank as you can see that was really uh, an easy process and it shows you a very accurate number of the salt uh, in the tank so I'll do another measurement just to make sure that you can uh, that you can see that it's uh, it's not uh, uh, a random number but it's doing actual measurements and uh, if everything works fine then the 3.68 percent should be close uh, after doing another five measurements, it's 3.70, so 37 ppt, which is only a 0 0.02 uh, change. So as you can see, this device is really, really accurate. Uh, there's three different versions available. You can use it for all kind of different appliances. You can also uh, measure uh, other other stuff with it, as you can see in the app, uh, like uh, honey uh, or even fruits and vegetables or coffee. Um, but of course, since this is a reef tank channel, we'll use it for salt. So I think any of the three will do. Uh, depends on which uh, which of the of the ones you uh, you like most. So I can highly recommend this device. It's very easy to use, very accurate, and uh, definitely a big upgrade over the big old uh, traditional refractometers that you uh, that you all known to uh, grow and love. <laughs> So yeah, uh, back to a conclusion, really happy with this uh, device. Um, um, if you want to uh, uh, order one, I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description that you can use to, uh, to order one online or check it out. Um, I think you will even get a discount um, if you use the link in the description. Also, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to uh, like and or subscribe to my channel. Um, a new uh, reef update went out yesterday so if you want you can check that out as well and for now thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next week